This how-to guide will go over how to print silver ink. Today, the project that we will be working on is a beard shaving bowl printed with silver ink. Step 1. Measure the item you want to print. Once you have your height and width measurements, you will create a jig outline in Illustrator. Once this is made, you will put it into raster link and print your jig outline, like you see in the photo on the left. Once you have printed your jig outline, you will use a caliper to measure the thickness of the lid that you will be printing on. Take the thickness that you have measured with your caliper and input it into the UJF7151 under Media Thickness. Step 2, raster link settings. In the next slides, we will be going over how to achieve a beautiful gloss look with our silver ink. For this project, we will have three total files. These files will be a white logo, a silver skull, and a white skull. With our first file being the logo file, we will use the color replacement tool to replace anything that is colored black into white. Next, we will be compositing the files together. We will first need to duplicate the skull file to create three files total. Right click your skull file and duplicate it. This will create three files. You'll want to select all of them and click the composite button in your toolbar. Arrange the files in the appropriate order, imagining your substrate being at the bottom. Then click composite. In the next slides, we will be going over how to edit the print quality settings. Select the logo file and head to your toolbar to select print quality. Change your logo file to printer registration 6x9. Your first skull to UV metallic color 6x9 and your second skull to UV metallic color 6x9. In the next slides, we will be going over how to edit file job attribute to monocolor. This will only be applied to the two skull files. For the first skull, under properties job attribute, select monocolor. You'll want to turn magenta into silver, and on the UV mode tab, change to glossy. This will then change your file into glossy, as you can see. Select the second skull file, under job attribute, change to mono color. Make magenta into white. Our next slides will be going over how to use the layer option to thin the white plate under the silver plate. This will ensure no white will be peeking out. Select the white skull file and head to your toolbar to hit the layers button. Here you can correct the size you'll want to select the thinning option and increase it for both the scan and feed by two pixels. Step three, print. 